Hello boys and girls, my name is Otzesi and welcome to another episode in Minecraft. Today we will continue by uh, building the third tower right in front of me. And uh, as you can see there in the back, I prepared a bit of uh, materials that I hope will be sufficient to get us through. And uh, as you probably can tell from this box, it's a melon and pumpkin farm. Uh, so the farm actually will go in uh, this square here and then the outer square will be the tower and today I will start with the uh, collection system so uh, I do it from the uh, bottom way up uh, in order um, to have everything uh, neatly aligned and if I dig all the way through here I should reach uh, let's put the torch in the offhand and yes this looks promising also um, I need to be uh, one block lower so let's remove the floor here Right, so that way we can nicely get our excess bone meal into the uh, already existing uh, channel over there. So let me fix this rail quick and uh, then we will sort out the rest and uh, I will bring you back once I uh, start the uh, actual farm here. Once you get the process done the build up of the farm is pretty straightforward. The lowest level is always hoppers to collect the item on top there goes dirt and that is held in a checkerboard pattern uh, so that the plants or the seeds can be uh, placed on alternating uh, fields in the middle of that uh, there is one water source um, to ensure that uh, all the uh, nine by nine fields are sufficiently uh, watered and then the seeds are planted in uh, alternating types uh, mixing between pumpkin and melon uh, that in theory should increase the output then on top of the stems there are downward facing observers they will observe the grow of the stems and uh, once the stem produces fruit the observer is triggered above the dirt blocks there are downward facing pistons and uh, the layer above this has solid blocks above the uh, observers and then node blocks on top of the pistons. I think target blocks would work here as well. And with that set up, once an observer detects the growth 
of a, of a stem or the state change of a stem which happens uh, when a fruit is grown on one of the uh, four neighboring fields the observer triggers powers the block the block powers the node block and that in turn uh, triggers the piston pushing the block down and thereby breaking it and as it cannot be pushed into the dirt it gets pushed to the side onto the farmland which is a bit lower so it can be picked up by the hopper and then it's basically repeat for the hull I decided on a combination of ice for the windows and cyan terracotta uh, as a frame and on the outside or on the corner I should say uh, quartz blocks and it takes quite a bit of uh, ice as I figured out so uh, basically one layer which is uh, three blocks high takes about two stacks of, uh, of ice and not that much of uh, cyan terracotta but it's it's still quite a lot and in the end it's just figuring out the uh, right proportion for uh, for the height and uh, that's where I stopped which uh, leaves enough room in there uh, to expand the uh, farm on the uh, inside as I learned in school symmetry is beauty but at the same time uh, symmetry is boring so for example if you uh, look at the totally uh, symmetric face which by definition is beautiful uh, it's also uh, quite boring and I think the uh, the human eye just needs a bit of uh, of asymmetry um, uh, to make uh, this uh, interesting and uh, that's exactly what we are doing here with the uh, decorations on the uh, outside so they are not quite straight forward uh, but eventually we will get them done so for the last part it's roof time again and uh, this roof will be dark prismarine and with that we have placed the last block on this roof which you can't quite see from that perspective so uh, let's fly off in this direction and have a look at what we built up yes and there it's gone I quite like it it's just a bit uh, on the uh, asymmetric uh, side there with the uh, with the, uh, the struts but uh, that's that's what I like I think uh, the uh, human mind needs a bit uh, of asymmetry uh, in uh, in order to uh, keep these uh, builds interesting because if they are totally uh, symmetrical you have a look you see it uh, you understand it and then you go on but with this kind of build it's it's just just a bit off so you you take a bit uh, a longer look and uh, I, I think uh, I achieved this goal here. 
so I hope uh, you enjoyed this video as much as I do I like the building the outside uh, quite a bit and uh, I will see you in the next one bye